Feeling hungry? It's time to whip something up in the kitchen. But before you do, we got some awesome food hacks to make life a little easier for you. Hmm, want pizza but don't have pizza dough? A great hack is pizza mugs. We're so excited for this deliciousness. After you plop in your chopped up bread, crack an egg, drop it right into the cup, and then stir it up. For anyone who needs an egg replacer, Bob Red Mills is a great option. And it, to do it pretty much the same, just gotta mix up the stuff, you're good to go. Now we love cheese, so we're gonna put that in first. Oops, get back in there. Put on a little layer of tomato pizza sauce, it can be pasta sauce, whatever you desire, the delicious. Even out the sauce, and like a normal pizza, put on the cheese after the sauce, and then the pepperoni, or whatever you would like for a topper. And lastly, yes, more cheese. For those cheese lovers out there, here's the final pizza product. By the way, we added garlic, love it. And that steam, oof, so perfectly cheesy. Jumping in with excitement for our first bite, and now, we're obsessed. Not much can get you down, unless of course you run out of your favorite popcorn. Am I all done already? Too bad these kernels didn't pop. I'd have way more if they did. Aha! Your straightener! If you do have unpopped kernels, try putting them in here. Think it'll pop like it does in the microwave? Uh-oh, it looks like something's bubbling in there. After waiting some time, there you have it, some popped popcorn. We're hungry, but so lazy. Ooh, top ramen, and we have a hack for that. In this top ramen twist, put the noodles directly into the electric water heater pitcher. Filled with water, of course. And be sure to not forget the flavor packet, close the lid, and heat things up. After a few minutes, you should have some hot noodles. Don't have a bowl? No problem, you can just eat it right out of the pitcher. Delicious. Mmm, this commercial sure is making me hungry. <sighs> chips and salsa sure do sound good. We have chips, but no salsa. I think we have avocados. We can make guacamole from scratch. Hmm, is there anything in this kitchen that would help? Hmm, one of these bags would do the job. No need to dirty any dishes. All you do is get a bag like this and pour in all the ingredients you need for your guacamole. Once all the ingredients are in, now it's time for the fun part. Make sure to zip up the bag very tight and use your hands to squeeze and mix up all the ingredients together. Once you're all done smashing and mixing, Instead of opening up the seal of the bag, it's time to cut a small hole in the corner. This way, you'll dodge messes when pouring it into your bowl. Well, that was quick and easy, wasn't it? Back to our movie in no time. Mm-mm-mm. Ready for these delicious hacks? Comment your favorite one. Share with your favorite foodie friends, like, and subscribe to Christine's Adventures for some more fun content.